So welcome, friends and family of uh, this year's kindergarten graduating class of 2022 of Grace Christian School. It's a joy to have you with us in over 160 days. Everybody's waving. I don't think it's at me, though, is it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's back here. Yes. 160 plus days of school, and you guys have made it through. Um, as a parent myself, I can relate, and I know there are days and times through this school year where you didn't know if you were going to make it to the weekend. You didn't know if your child was going to make it to first grade. And I'm here to tell you, everybody that we have here, we're so excited. They've made it. You've made it. Look, they've learned to read. They've learned multiplication tables, and they have learned about Jesus our Lord and Savior. It has been exciting to watch this school year. And I want to thank you. Uh, for some of you, this is your, your first child going off into first grade. And for some of you, you're saying, Mr. Shumway, this is my last child going off into first grade. But no matter where you are in seasons of life, I just want to tell you. My name's Stuart Shumway. I'm head of school. And I want to tell you that it is an honor and a joy uh, to have partnered with you over this year. We're looking for many more years ahead of raising up the next generation to love and serve Jesus, to find their purpose of why they were brought into the world, and to train them up to go and find it. I want to open us in a word of prayer, and we'll get started here tonight. Father, we love you, and Lord, right over my shoulder here, um, these are your children. And Father, I thank you for each one that you have entrusted uh, to us in the school as a ministry and to these parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins. Father, they are, uh, Lord, a treasure and a heritage that's been given as a gift. Uh, Father, through much uh, strains and struggles and uh, oftentimes crying, but Lord, you have been gracious and you have grown and developed and stretched and you have fed your people and your families. Lord, thank you for the, uh, the ministry of Grace Christian School. Thank you for the, uh, the five teachers, the three aides, um, and the support staff and faculty that has gone into the investment into each of their lives. And Father, we pray that you'd be pleased and glorified through what we do here tonight. These students have much to celebrate and much to be celebrated for. So, Father, as we uh, draw a conclusion to the school year this year, Father, I, I pray for a special blessing on their lives as they move into the summer and a good reflection on the work you have done through the school, through their parents, to bring us to this point here tonight. And we give you thanks for it in Jesus' name. Amen.
Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all that's stealing. And you're desperate for some healing. Let me tell you about my Jesus. He makes a way.
Great job, great job. We were down there talking, said some of those girls have that finger swag going on pretty good. I said they learned that from those teachers. So, well, good evening, uh, everybody. Uh, parents and family members and friends and school teachers and staff and all of the teacher aides. And, uh, and most importantly tonight, the K-5 graduates of Grace Christian School. For those of you that don't know, I'm Pastor Joel Murr, the lead pastor here at Grace Chapel. And I just want to say on behalf of Grace Chapel Church, uh, we want to say congratulations uh, to not just the students, but the parents. Amen. And uh, we made it. Uh, you made it. The kids made it. And the teachers made it. Right. And uh, what an incredible, incredible accomplishment uh, this year. I want to take just a minute. And can we just recognize uh, all of the parents or, or step parents, maybe you're a grandparent, anyone who actually was responsible for paying the school bill. Amen. Uh, will y'all just stand if you had some responsibility in that and uh, students, will you help me clap for them? Can we clap for all of those? So go ahead, stand up. Thank you so much. You may be seated. Uh, I just want you to know tonight that it has been a privilege uh, on the part of this ministry uh, to have these students here uh, this year. And uh, what an unbelievable, wonderful ministry. It is the largest ministry of Grace Chapel Church, is Grace Christian School. And uh, we love uh, seeing young people here. And uh, it's just been an incredible year. We're blessed uh, with a staff. And a, and a group of teachers who love these kids uh, so much. And, uh, and, and not just the teachers, but the aides and the administration. Uh, I want you to know your kids are prayed for uh, all the time. They're prayed for by many people in our church. They're prayed for uh, by the leadership of the school and the teachers. And, and uh, if you can make it through the car line every day, then uh, we know that there's a God in heaven and uh, who helps us uh, in this great ministry. And so we're just so thankful uh, to have a ministry like this, Christ-centered. Um, you know, and uh, as I listened to those kids sing, I thought, you know, we, we can teach them a, a lot about arithmetic, and we can teach them a lot about science, and we can teach them a lot about history, but we'll never teach them anything more important than what the words of the last song that they sang right there. Uh, about Jesus and about that foundation uh, that we have, uh, and they're going to need it in this world. How many of you know that? They're going to need it in this crazy world that we live in, and so what an important, important ministry uh, that this is. Students, great job this year. Uh, we want you all to know how proud we are of you. You guys did, did a great job. I, I was proud that you were able to sing all those songs and no one fell off the stage, right? Because that's what that would have been me trying to trying to spin around and and all of those things I would have failed. But you guys did so good, and uh, and the accomplishments that you made in the classroom this year were just incredible. And we're just so so thankful for you. It is our prayer that uh, we can partner 
uh, with parents and grandparents and family members uh, to raise our children up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. We don't believe it's, it's solely our responsibility uh, to teach your children all the things there are to know. Uh, we know that this, it's a partnership, and we value that, and we're so, so grateful uh, for that. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's the foundation of wisdom. And I want you to know that that's what these teachers have done this year is try to, they, they have taught all the, the, the educational things and math and science and history and all those things, but they've also taught them uh, this most important thing, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And uh, wisdom is the principal thing, the Bible says. It's the most important thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with your wisdom, you'll get understanding. And so I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of uh, Grace Chapel Church for being here tonight, for your support uh, throughout the year to all of our school and, <clears throat> and the administration, and most importantly, these wonderful-looking graduates on the platform tonight. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for these families who sacrificed and have paid tuition to see them, to, to see these children get the education from a Christ-centered worldview. Lord, may they realize on nights like this that it's worth it. May these children never forget your great love for them and how your church and, and this school have tried to prepare them, even at this young age, for the world that they'll have to live in. God, I pray that you would pl place a, a hedge uh, around them so that they will be safe from harm and so Satan cannot reach them and lead them into temptation. Bless them. Bless them in the days to come that they would use godly wisdom in selecting their friends and peers, that they would have positive influences around them as they continue their education. Give them wise discernment to know the difference between what's good and evil and right and wrong. God, I pray that you would raise them up to love you with all their hearts, with all their souls, and with all their minds, and even to one day build godly homes and have an appetite to live the spiritual truths they've learned and they've heard in their homes and in the halls and the classrooms here at Grace. Now give them a good time tonight as we celebrate their accomplishments and this milestone in their life, and we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, everybody, you ready? Okay, it's time. I'm going to have Mr. Shumway help me out here, and we're going to get going just a second. Mr. Shumway, as the principal of Grace Christian Elementary School, I am honored to present the candidates for the kindergarten diploma. I certify that these students have met all the necessary requirements and are recommended by the faculty to receive the official kindergarten diploma of Grace Christian School. All right, Mr. Ryan, well, based on your certification that these students have met all of the requirements for promotion to the first grade, I authorize the presentation of diplomas from Grace Christian Elementary School. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm going to have... Ms. Buller's class come down, and while they're coming down, I just wanted to send out a word of special thanks uh, also to the three big kindergartners that are up here on stage. Uh, Mrs. Blodgett, Mrs. Shackelford, and Mrs. Dwyer are our elementary kindergarten aides. Let's give them a round of applause for all the work. And I also want to say thank you to Crystal Hall and the rest of the office staff for all their support and helping in getting tonight together and working that out for us. But especially to Mrs. Bullard, Mrs. Free, and Mrs. Womack as well. So thank you, teachers. You've done a wonderful job this year with our students. All our ducks are in a row, literally. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Okay. I got the cue. There we go. Sully Berryman. Come on over to see. That's it.
All right. Ethan Brady. Good job, Ethan. Walker Buchanan. <laughs> Cora Decker. Abby Hall. <laughs> Carson Hall. Good job. Oliver Johnson. Sophia Lloyd. Harrison Long. Addie Pate. Megan Purdue. <laughs> Naomi Powell. Good job, Naomi. Harper Ruda. You ready, Gabriel? He's a little excited sitting over there. Gabriel Sauls. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Grayson Stahl. Morgan Tao. Winston Wooten. And Savannah Young. Hi, Miss Bullard. I just want to say thank you to all the parents for allowing me to teach your children this year. This has been such a special year, such a special class. And I couldn't do it without Ms. Dwyer, who is an awesome assistant, and my fellow teachers. I love you guys so much, these teachers. We have an awesome kindergarten team from the teachers and the assistants, and I'm just so thankful for all of them. Boys and girls, I love you. God loves you, and he's got great plans for you. And I'm always here for you, so you come back to see me sometime, okay? Give me a wave, give me a high five, fist bump. Okay? All right. Good job, guys. All right, stand up. Okay, stand up, everybody. Okay, follow. Good job.
All right, Mrs. Freeze class, come on. All right, here we go. Starting us off, Benjamin Barker Lopez. Come on. <laughs> Braden Barr. <laughs> Noah Battiato. No, Nolan. You ready? <laughs> Stefano Bellholm. <laughs> Ellie Donathan. Amelia Espinoza. <laughs> Sit in your seat. Sit in your seat. Kinsley Gregson. <laughs> Ethan Hurlston. <laughs> Adeline Heiss. Christian Height. Hadeline McKenzie. Avery Snipes. Grayson Thomas. Hadley Wagger. <laughs> and Ella Withrow. Parents, family, and friends, thank you so much for the privilege of loving on your babies this year. We made a lot of memories, and it's hard to let my first kindergarten class go, but I'm so excited for all that has, God has planned for my boys and girls. All right, let's stand up. All right, boys and girls, stand up. Okay, with Mrs. Womack's class, why don't you stand and we'll get ready to come over. Evelyn Boker. Grace Collins. Shh. 
Don't forget. <laughs> Oliver Connell. <laughs> Maylene Davenport. Ariana Estrada. <laughs> Sophia Florentine. <laughs> Nathaniel Florvaris. Brielle Hooker. Yeah. Elijah Nixon. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Paisley Pope. Jackson Rada. <laughs> Elijah Spomer. <laughs> and Tommy Talley. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to cry. Grace told me I couldn't because I was actually wearing makeup today. So I got Grace. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to work with your children. We had formed such a tight little family in my classroom. They grew so much spiritually, academically, emotionally. They were just a, a wonderful group to work with. And thank you so much for blessing me with them. Hey, guys. While the students go back to their seats, I'm going to ask you right before we get here to the point where we do our recessional, I'm going to ask you to please stay at your seats during the recessional. Following the recessional, I will dismiss the audience. You'll be able to pick up your graduate at the same location that you dropped them off, but I do have a couple of announcements before you go. They will be walking out just shortly here in a moment. I'm going to ask that everybody, if you would join me in praying for everybody, so why don't you please stand? Students, why don't you please stand where you're at? And let's pray together. Father, I thank you so much for a night of celebration with these kindergarten graduates. I thank you for all that they have accomplished and done. And I pray that you watch over them, guide them, and direct them. Be with their parents. I thank you for all the kindness and energy and efforts that they have put into these children. Lord, for the guardians, to the grandparents, whoever it may be that is providing care, Lord, you have surrounded them with a great cloud of those who have gone before us. And Lord, we just thank you so much for the things that you have in store for them. Lord, I thank you for their teachers, all that support. And Lord, I just pray that you will be honored and glorified. And you continue to watch over and guide and direct here at Grace Christian School. For we ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the class of 2034. Well, they may, be, they may be the class of 2034, but for now, they're next year's first graders <laughs> who are definitely dynamite.
What you all did not get to see was the teachers up here in the front row leading them. So maybe you will because I did record them. <laughs> all right, parents and guardians, we have three gifts located in the lobby for you tonight. A GCS graduate yard sign, so you can get a yard sign on the way out for your kindergarten graduate. And one more piece of artwork for the refrigerator. There's a self-portrait. They are hanging up. They, you may take it off the wall where it's hanging. And finally, also a framed black and white photo of your graduate in their formal graduate outfits. So also, don't forget, stop by the photo booths. They're there. Take some pictures. Tag, hashtag the school, please. And then also, congratulations, everybody. Have a blessed night. You are dismissed.